What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. It's the Earthmaster here on this Tuesday, July 26, 2022 date. It's about 12.33 p.m. California time. Latest quake shows a 3.1. Over here around the Philippines, western edge of the Philippine plate. The latest quake there at about 14 kilometers deep in that region. Let's go ahead and check out the latest activity here from the USGS showing activity across the flat scale model little bit of uh, earthquake activity up here off the coast of the BC region. We don't see too much activity out here, but uh, overnight we did see a 4.8 earthquake. Looks like right at the northern end here of the Cascadia subduction zone, uh, just right around the Queen Charlotte Sound area, just to the west there, 4.8 at about 10 kilometers. We have been noticing a little bit of activity up and down here recently. Most of the trimmer has been confined here to Northern California. But uh, overall, a little bit of activity. Sometimes we do see some movement up here. Not quite as active as the areas down into the California region, but uh, we do get some earthquakes off the coast there. In the BC region, looking at the all magnitudes map here, gonna check out the West Coast here first. Uh, some activity throughout the Washington and the Oregon area. Not a whole lot going on. Uh, there's one earthquake outside of Mount Hood. Looks like uh, about five kilometer deep, 0. 0.6. We'll check out the seismographs there in a little bit. Uh, also Mount St. Helens showing a little bit of seismic activity. Uh, Cascadia subduction zone down here in the southern end looks pretty quiet right now, not a whole lot of activity. We did have one earthquake there yesterday. Uh, well off the coast into the uh, kind of the Gorda ridges out here, close to them, uh, just to the northwest on the Pacific side of the plate boundary. Uh, some activity throughout uh, the Nevada region. Looks a little scattered out here today. Spread out uh, from about the Tonopah region. Uh, Warm Springs northward. Seen uh, a few microquakes out there. Looking at the 2.5 and above. Only one earthquake here in the Nevada area uh, for this map. So most of the activity here in the west coast has been pretty small. A lot of microquake activity. Uh, Ridgecrest area and down south into the Salton Sea area getting uh, a little bit of activity. No major swarms to take note of here in Southern California or anywhere of that matter. The activity up here along the uh, Clear Lake area, very typical of the hydrothermal operations ongoing there uh, at uh, numerous hydrothermal plants. Uh, let's see what else we got. Not a whole lot going on through the uh, Inner Mountain West regions or the Yellowstone area. We did have an earthquake of, well, a little bit of a moderate, no, I'd say light, light earthquake, 3.6 in the Nebraska, Kansas region. Look, at, look like it's on the Kansas side here though. Uh, nine kilometers west southwest of Superior, Nebraska. Shaking things up out there. Looks like uh, uh, at least a couple people reported feeling this earthquake. Not a big shaker, but sometimes they do get some earthquakes out there. Uh, and also further down here into Oklahoma and parts of Texas, all seen a little uh, amping up of earthquake activity. New Madrid zone shows two earthquakes, a 1.9 and a 1.8 around the Missouri area. Not a whole lot going on around the uh, South Carolina region today. Things look pretty calm for that area of the states. Down here in Puerto Rico, not a whole lot going on either. Only nine earthquakes to report over the last 24 hours, including a 3.8 kind of up here around the Puerto Rico Trench region at uh, about 70 kilometers. One earthquake here off the coast of uh, El Salvador, looks like uh, Nicaragua. 4.2 at 60 kilometers here into the Middle America Trench, kind of down down there. And uh, South America, a little, little bit of activity. Ecuador down to about the Chile region. Getting, uh, well this is Argentina, but well underneath Argentina, 4.2 down there at about 195 kilometers. This earthquake here, uh, looks like that one was from earlier this morning time frame. I uh, did see some activity over here in the New Zealand area working its way uh, along the Kermadec Trench at 5.0 kicking off overnight into the Gisborne New Zealand area. We have been watching this area pretty closely for some larger scale movement but uh, we haven't seen it. It's just it's It's got to catch up eventually. We know strains building up here quite a bit. Uh, aside from that 5.0 a little bit of activity down south here, seen a, uh, looks like a 3.3, and also some deeper movement earthquake activity up here south of Fiji. 
uh, 4.5 at 468 kilometers for that earthquake. Uh, let's see what else we got here around Papua New Guinea. A little small, little 4.9. That one kicking off overnight as well. Uh, some activity here as noted along the Philippine plate. Not showing up on the U uh, USGS map here. But we are uh, starting to see it there on the EMSC. A 4.7 coming in. Uh, actually, that's an older one, if I remember right. Uh, let's see what we got for newer earthquake activity. We've seen it on the globe. Let me see here. Yeah, it's gonna be that's gonna be a uh, 3.1 on the globe, so it's not gonna show up on this map. Actually, gotta zoom in a little bit so we can see that uh, 3.1 that we noted on the earthquake 3D globe, right around. It's somewhere in here, <clears throat> maybe right there. Oh, better not lose my voice not good either way a little cluster of quakes here throughout the uh philippines southward into the indonesia region <clears throat> also notice folks here around that five pointer there uh in the gisborne new zealand area it's definitely ramping up with quite a few microquakes and threes around that region so we're getting a pretty good heightened activity here along this area of new zealand i would definitely watch this area pretty closely with this ongoing swarm and of course along the south america region up through the middle america trench into portions of the gulf of california all look very typical here today of uh, a bunch of quakes obviously it's a major plate boundary uh, a couple major plate boundaries here and that's very typical for the uh, earthquake activity uh, not a whole lot going on throughout the um, regions further west we did the latest quake shows a 4.6 in the india region some activity north of the himalaya mountains as well uh, arabian sea seen some activity earlier near the owen fracture zone a 5.0 and one, one earthquake out here looks like that one occurring overnight in the turkey area 4.0 atlantic ocean looks pretty calm and clear right now folks not a whole lot going on uh hawaii is lighting up a little bit uh today getting some scattered earthquake activity away from the big island these are pacific crust faults or a pacific fault or pacific crust earthquake activity out here we do have one out around the mccall seamount uh 2.0 at 12 kilometers and another one well north here uh looks like a 2.6 and about 13 kilometers there most of the activity confined here to the kilauea region of, and also the pahala one earthquake out in the loihi seamount 2.8 but uh, overall, no major seismic changes here uh, to note. We will check the hazard notification system here from the HVO folks. And uh, Kilauea looks to be about the only one that's of noteworthy mention today. Uh, still looks like the eruption of the volcano continues within the crater. It's been continuing for many, many, many days now. There is no new changes that I can note here. Um, on the uh, current eruptive stage there of Kilauea Volcano. Let's see, Yellowstone National Park. I don't believe we have too much going on there either. Not a whole lot to take note of at all. We did see one earthquake. Notice this. Yeah, I'm trying to think here. Yeah, this is in that area of Yellowstone National Park where we see these kind of these phantom earthquakes. They pop up. And they never really get notified on the earthquake catalog book here, or on the uh, catalog from the USGS. But definitely some earthquake activity pops up here from time to time on the eastern side of the park. Uh, that did show up here, Parker Peak, but also around the Little West Thumb area. You can see that little blip of a uh, earthquake. Aside from that, just a little micro, well, yeah, it looks like a little earthquake here earlier today within this vicinity of Yellowstone National Park, but no major swarms, no major unrest occurring there at Yellowstone. Uh, solar activity, we did have a pretty large sea flare up there, almost close to the M category. This thing kicked off uh, earlier this morning time frame. Looks like about a 9 or a 8.5 area, pretty close up there to the M category. That was off of a far side sunspot, which is now way over here i believe that's 3060 if i'm correct that's where that sea flare came through not directed at earth definitely not uh gonna have any effect whatsoever uh with the uh three-day forecast there is a couple developing sunspots around the bend here northeastern limb 
but uh, we'll see if those things want to develop any further as they uh, progress across the disk and uh, into Earth view. Right now, looks like 55% chance of a sea flare. These are from yesterday, but uh, yeah, I'd, that's probably about right. Nothing major going on for an X flare or an M flare. Three day geomagnetic forecast looks calm and clear. Uh, with only about 25 to 20 percent chance of any type of storming at the higher latitudes and the aurora forecast looks pretty minimal right now let's see what else we got here folks uh tremor map of course 150 epicenters along the southern end of the cascadia yesterday we'll check out the mount hood volcano real quick since we did see a little bit of earthquake activity noted uh, from the yesterday timestamp, a little 0.6 right here. So we'll check out this seismograph station here at the uh, Palmer Lift. Sometimes this inter, sometimes there's quite a bit of interference on this station. So let's see how it looks real quick. And see, there's that some weird interference there. That's probably I, it's hard to say what it is, but it, occasionally it does kick up like that. Uh, I know one of these are. Barrett Spur. Let's see if this one's working properly. I just kind of want to see what the microquake situation's looking like here at the Hood Volcano. And there it is. So it looks like a little activity. I'm not for certain if that's the one that was noted. I think it is. There's an S wave from uh, overnight somewhere. Not for sure exactly where that's at. Very small one. And a couple other smaller quakes it looks like here around Mount Hood. But uh, Volcanoes can have microquakes. It's when the uh, threes and fours kick up and the GPS um, measurements go crazy. That's when we'd want to start worrying, but uh, there's always microquake activity around volcanoes. All right, uh, let's see. I think that's about it, folks. Hope everyone enjoys their day. Got some monsoonal moisture coming up here uh, from the south into Northern California. Got a chance of thunderstorms today. Still going to be hot. About 99 degrees, but we do have a chance of some dry lightning kicking up, uh, which isn't good. That could start some uh, some bigger fires. I don't think that would be uh, a good thing for California right now, but uh, just got to roll with the punches, so to speak, and hopefully nothing starts up from this uh, little event. Either way, have a good day, folks. We will chat you guys a little bit later on. Take care. Peace out, folks.